good morning everybody it's Laura welcome back to my channel um, today we're gonna work on the greens um, May is my birthday month so I kind of see everybody posting the bargain bead box mine isn't here yet um, let's see is it gonna be delivered today it's hung up in Kansas City so I highly doubt it's going to be delivered but let's see what it says um, it's, it's just taking forever. Tomorrow, today, is today Wednesday? It says it's out for delivery, so it's going to be here today. I expect it to be, like, full of greens, because, you know, Emerald is May's birthstone, and I was excited, and it's not. I kind of see everybody posting, like, their, what do you call it? They're um, unboxings, and they got the like the picture. I'm trying to scroll past it, but I'm not seeing green, and I'm very <laughs> disappointed. But I may not be disappointed in the box, but I'm disappointed that it's not full of green. So I'm glad I went and bought a bunch of green. Um, this is the pendant I ordered two shopping hauls ago. Um, it's got the peacock. Let's see if my phone will focus on that beautiful little pendant. I ordered two of these, one for me, one to sell. And then this last shopping haul, I ordered these cathedral beads. How beautiful are they? And they match that perfectly. I also ordered um, some of these. Um, let me get my paper so I get this right. These are um, faceted roundel beads, or no, the cube beads in green. They're beautiful. I love these. And then these are the um, English cut round beads in green swirl Picasso, I believe. And these are the ones I'm going to use today. I also have some 18 karat gold from the um, April box. This is the gold plated chain. And then I have a bunch of stuff in my own stash. Um, these are actually from Bargain Bead Box. Um, and then like I said, stuff from my stash. I also have some uh, filigree bead caps from my own stash. Um, and I have a piece of wire because I am going to put it on wire first so that I know what I'm going to do. I'm also going to be stringing it on seven strand beetle on. This is the bronze color. Um, I actually love this. I made a necklace with it last night. It is perfect. How awesome. Um, it's a repeat of my necklace with the, um, uh, crescent, Labrador crescent moon that we got in, I believe it was either February, I believe February Jan or January. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of lay this out and bargain bead box is amazing guys. Um, you can get a subscription, it's a monthly beading subscription and you save, um, you, I have a coupon code that if you'd like to use it and join and you know, ladies, you know, you have your girls nights or whatever you can, um, gather up, you know, a couple of your friends and have a girls night. I don't like the big ones right next to it. Um, this is going to have to go on a jump ring because it'll hang wrong if I don't. Um, have a girls' night or a girls' day. Each of you, you know, have a bargain bead box. And when you get your boxes set up, your girls' night, a girls' day. And y'all just sit around and have, like, your drink of choice and sit around and just make jewelry for a couple of hours and have fun. I mean, to me, that's that's a fun girl's day, but maybe not to everybody. But anyways, it's just a thought. Bargain Bead Box is $19.49 a month shipped to your door. So how cool is that? And you can um, save $2 on your first month subscription with my code right here on the screen. All capital letters, dragonfly, number two, um, no spaces. And you can um, save $2 on your first monthly subscription. It's in the comment section below in the pin comment and it will be also in the drop down if you see look underneath the video and it says more click it and you can see the whole section there um and um i'm just playing with this i think i want some of these first i don't know we'll see we'll get going on this and i appreciate each and every one of you i'm so close to the thousand subscribers on this channel which is amazing um, I did not bring my scissors in here because I've been doing mock setups for this weekend to see how everything looks. And we're just going to spill these out, get them off the cord and get rid of the cord. And we're going to start playing. So 
Let's see. I think I want to go with these. I don't know. Maybe I want something smaller. I want something smaller next to it. So let's go ahead and open these. These are definitely going to need to go in the dish. Otherwise, they're going to be all over and they already are. So we're going to dump these out in the dish. I think I want the small ones next to it. Like that. And then let's go with... Oh, that's a... Um, you know, and we'll do that and then we'll go with these. I don't know, what's a bead cap look like on a cathedral bead? I don't know if I like that. You can't really see the bead cap, so let's not. And say we did. We will just go ahead and do like this and this. And I have a feeling this is going to go together really easily. Let's get rid of those. We're not going to use those. Um, I love these colors together. Um, yeah, and I don't want to use a whole lot of cathedral beads because I don't have very many. So let's spread these out. Let's go a dark one. I don't want two light ones together. There we go. And then do another cathedral bead. And then let's go. Two of these. Let's get a dark one over here. And now let's go ahead and string on some of these. Like that and that. And we'll put some of these between them. Oops, I'm dropping these all over. So let's do like three up the side. One, two, three, one, two, three. Now let's go ahead and put this on a wire and I'll bring you right back. I find my paws on this phone. Okay, so this is what it's gonna look like um, when it's put together. Um, so I did go ahead and put four on this side just to see what it would look like. And I really like four better than I did three. Um, and now I'm just going to get a section of my um, oh, if I can get this off from here beading wire I'm still debating if I want to go with this I think I'll go with this because that is gold um, my biggest issue is making sure that that jump ring does not come out and I'll do that when I get to it but um, this beading wire I should be able to just go but my hands are not very steady today, so I don't know if I want to try to do this. I don't know if you could tell what I'm doing. I'm beating it right up like this. I missed with that one, so it may not go any farther than that. Let me offload those onto the wire. And you always want to make sure that all your beads are on the beading wire if you do it this way. Again, checking, make sure they all are on. 
because you don't want to get like all the way done doing this and find out oh wait a minute a bead didn't actually go on have to take it all apart These are the last two before my jump ring and they are all on double checking that I haven't missed anything. All right. So here is the kicker. Is this going to stay on my wire? And what I like to do is hold this out, find where my jump ring is put together. If I can get a hold of my jump ring. I'm embarrassed. My neighbors are out there yelling. I hope my phone's not picking that up. Right there's where my jump ring is put together. And it's going right over it smoothly. It's not coming out. So we're going to keep on going. That is so cool. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and keep threading this on. And I'll bring you right back. Okay, so I've got everything on and I held it up. I made sure I put the fourth spacer and bead on and I held it up, make sure everything is equal and it looks good. So I'm going to, like I said, I'm working off the spool because I want to save as much as I can. Um, I'm going to grab one of these. It has got a really big hole here, but it doesn't really matter. Um, it's the only cut one I've got this color. I could just use a crimp, but then I don't have a crimp color, cover the right color. So we're just going to use this bigger one. It should be okay. Um, so we're gonna do that. And then we're going to take a crimp bead and a crimp tube. And I did grab a gold colored one, but it really doesn't matter what color you put in here as long as it crimps shut and it holds tight. Now, because this is going to be a higher dollar one, I'm going to put glue in here. And the reason I'm doing that is because I don't want a customer to come back and say, this necklace fell apart. So I'm gonna take this and I'm going to crimp. I'm holding it really close to the end. I'm gonna grab that crimp. I'm going to get a hold of it. I'm going to try to make sure it's centered. Well, it's not real centered. I'm going to flatten it. It's on there tight. It's not going anywhere, tugging, and I can trim that extra little piece off just to make it look a little better because this is being sold and I don't want that to stick up. These are brand new and they're already dull. All right, so I'm going to slide my crimp cover up. I've got my glue out and I'm going to put just a tiny bit of glue in there. Like I said, this is just because I am selling it. It is going to have um, 24 karat or 18 karat gold plated chain on it. So I am going to put a little higher price on it. That and the peacock um, piece also was a little higher price. So um, we're going to put just a little dab of glue in there on the crimp. Just like that. And then I'm taking my bent nose and I'm just going to, I'm going to start squeezing it shut with my fingers. You can see that's not coming off there. I'm going to line this all up. And then I'm going to take a pin, come in here. And 
I'm going to line up these holes. Because sometimes the holes don't line up very good. And then I'm going to smush mush. Like that. That way the hole is lined up for when you put your stuff through. So we're going to slide all this down. And I will repeat on the other side. Okay, so I have it, this trimmed off. I have my crimp tube down in there. I've shaken this down so that all the beads are in there, but it's loose, but there's no spaces. Um, you don't want it poker tight. I'm going to hold the crimp tube kind of against my fingers. I'm going to reach down in there with these pliers and give that crimp tube a squeeze and flatten him out. Now I'm going to give it a tug. He's tight. I'm still going to put just a dab of glue. Apparently I had laid something in my glue. So one of my pliers handles is going to have glue on it again. Put this up here out of the way. Now I'm going to lay this down and then I'm going to turn my crimp so that it's facing the right way. And I'm going to make sure that I close it or my cover and I want to close it that way. Let me just start it with my fingers. These I can pretty much close most of the way with my fingers, but you still want to kind of flatten them out. We're going to trim off that edge that's sticking out. And we are ready to put on Our jump rings, which I have a horrible time with these jump rings. I just do. Um, first, I'm going to measure how much chain I need. I'm going to hold this up to myself. Um, this is a, a necklace that you really don't want too long because you don't want to lose this little guy um, in your clothing or down in your chest. You want it up there where it can be visible. So let me find my chain again. I put it in one of these little deals, I thought. No, I didn't. Um, so I'm going to put the chain around my neck. And kind of see where this comes. And adjust it. I'm actually not going to need a whole lot of chain. We're going to cut it right about there. So I'm actually going to need a little less than this because I need to make room for my um, jump rings and stuff. We're going to cut it off right about here, taking an additional half an inch to an inch off right there. And now we're going to do the jump ring to fasten these on. I love this necklace. I cannot wait to make my own. So we're just going to take a hold of this. Find the opening. Give it a little twist. We're going to add this. We're going to add one end of the chain. We're going to close it up. I have the worst luck with these jump rings, I'm trying to get them to come closed, and not be out of shape.
and my package was delivered. There. That is closed all the way around. Let me double check it from the side. Okay. Definitely closed. Now we're going to do the other side and I'll bring you back. Okay, now that I have this on here, I'm going to stretch this out, holding it down, and I'm going to find about the center. And that is where I'm going to cut this chain. And get it out of the hinge of the pliers. Did it cut? These pliers are terrible. I need to hopefully make enough money this weekend. I'll buy some Zeron because these are terrible. And these are brand new guys. These should not be having a problem cutting. Ah, it cut. I got to check this, uh, make sure this is not weakened. It's good. Let's check this side. It's good. And get these bits out of the way that came off. All right, now I'm going to need two more jump rings, one and two. This is for it to clasp into. So let's get that one on first. And close it up. What I'm looking to get is like a magnifying glass kind of thing that hooks to the edge of my desk that, you know, that is like so wonky, out of shape. It's not even round. Like, why? You guys see that? It's like this ring was never meant to be met end to end. Let's see if I can find a better jump ring. Um, I don't understand. Like some of these jump rings are just terrible. There we go. Make sure the chain's not going to come out through there. Now we're going to use a small one and hook our clasp on with it. Like that. Find our lobster clasp, put it on. Hopefully. Do not use those, that would be bad. And hook. Please. Ah, and I dropped it. And it is not shut. I go through all my jewelry when I set up and double check all my clasps, all my jump rings. To make sure that they're shut. And it is. There we go. So here is. We'll fasten this. I love this piece. How gorgeous is that? You get it to focus on it. It is very shiny. <laughs> um, I will take a picture and put it on at the end. And I've got a doctor's appointment, so I need to get myself going. I love you all. Thank you so much for being here with me. And I will talk to all of you guys down in the comments below. Thank you so much for being here. Bye, everybody.